What's up everybody, Lucas here. So the one-handed push-up is a great display of strength and coordination. In this video, I'm gonna talk about progression exercises to help you develop that strength and coordination for doing the one-handed push-up. I'm also gonna show you guys some secrets and the proper technique for doing the one-handed push-up. Watch this video, by the end of it, you'll be on your way to getting the one-handed push-up. Impress your friends, impress your mom, impress your family, grandma, but you gotta focus. Exercise number one, the slide push-up, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push up and you're gonna slide one arm to the side and back up. Slide, up, slide, up, slide, up, slide. Oh my gosh, my left sucks. Up. This really helps uh, isolate one arm without totally going to one arm, okay? So you got the stabilization going on with the other hand. If you can't do it with both feet on the ground, go to your knees, go to the knees, all right? And then do the same thing. If you guys are having trouble sliding your hand on the ground, you can grab like a book or something that'll slide on the ground. So you put a book down, never disrespect body weight beast. Exercise number two, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing inclined one-handed push-ups, all right? So, when you're on an incline, it's a little bit easier because, well, for most people, because you get to use a little bit of the more of the lower chest, and the lower chest is usually stronger, mostly on guys, for doing um, push-ups, presses, anything like that. So, an incline push-up would be just like a normal push-up, but your body's on an incline like this, okay? And now I go like this. Um, you can flip the chair around. And you can do this one. I call I call the throat choker. Utilize the back of the chair, put it up against the wall. You wanna get your chest over it, okay, so your chest is coming down. This is really easy right here. And then what we can start work on doing is just using one arm. We can spread our legs out, get in that one hand to push up position. Boom, boom, boom. I know that looks stupid and not that difficult, but believe me, that's actually pretty difficult, uh, especially if you can't do a one-handed push-up. Next exercise for the one-handed push-up, the diamond push-up. Now, why the heck a diamond push-up? What does this have to do? Well, if you look at the diamond push-up, where your hands are more towards the inside, that's kind of where you're, that is actually exactly where your hand's gonna be when you go to do the one-handed push-up. This is gonna be right in the center because you have to balance yourself. Remember, when doing the diamond push-up, don't flare the elbows like this. You wanna still tuck them into the side, okay? Just like the normal push-up. Boom, okay? Boom. Boom, boom. All right, next exercise for learning the one-handed push-up, what we're gonna be doing is just an eccentric one-handed push-up and then pushing ourselves up normally. So get in the one-hand push-up position. You spread your legs, arm out, kind of towards the center, get over it a little bit with your head. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna eccentrically lower ourselves down slowly. Oh, get down to the ground. Um, try your best, right? And then push yourself back up. You'll get a little bit better as you try this a few times, because you're developing motor control. You want a pretty dang good workout and you want to get that one hand push up quickly, do each of those exercises, do 10 reps. Try to get 10 reps. Try your best to get 10 reps. Take about 90 seconds of rest in between each set and do three sets of each of those back to back to back. You could do this every other day. Gosh, you'll have the one handed push up in like a, probably like a week, you'll have all the strength you need, literally. All right, how to actually do a one-handed push-up now? <sighs> one-handed push-up. Eh, wrong. All right, so the secrets to the real, actual one-handed push-up. You wanna put your hand down, you're gonna grip the earth, you're gonna basically flex your legs, and you're gonna squeeze, tighten your butt, okay? Tighten your butt, and then tighten your core. So you tighten your butt, and you tighten your core. This helps stabilize the entire chain of your body, okay? So you can put yourself down and then push yourself back up if you have the necessary strength. If you keep yourself all loosey-goosey, you're gonna go like, you're not gonna look right. It's gonna be like, what are you doing? You want your hand about at the chest, okay? So when it comes down, your elbow's tucked into the side. You can kind of shift your body a little bit towards that hand, okay? To get you a little bit over it, boom. If you guys are looking to develop some great strength, check out Bodyweight Beast, my 12-week calisthenics program on sale on OnlyKindsFitness.com. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. I got daily uploads Monday through Friday. Peace. I'll see you all in the next video. 